In this video, I want to talk about the Pentax Auto 110. I've been shooting this camera pretty consistently for, I'd say, the past year or so. And I, I picked it up from eBay. It was an as-is auction. And when I got it, it was kind of in rough shape. So these lenses come packaged in a uh, plastic container. And in that plastic container is like a foam donut. Well, those foam donuts over time kind of deteriorated and created like these foam boogies. In addition to all of the foam pieces everywhere, whoever used this camera prior, I mean, they loved coconut hand moisturizer. I mean, like two, like I can't even say how drenched this thing was in coconut hand oil. Um, but luckily with uh, some Q-tips and some rubbing alcohol, it, it took me, I don't know, an hour to get everything cleaned up. Um, and then once I tested it, you know, I totally got, you know, lucky because it, it works beautifully um, and everything did clean up okay. In Japan, land of cameras, one company has consistently made some of the biggest innovations and some of the smallest. Pentax. Now this camera was released in 1978 and it was kind of a big deal when it came out because it was the first SLR system for 110 film. And uh, it has a, a built-in meter, which is excellent by the way, uh, which will uh, meter the, the shutter speeds between 1 750th of a second to 10 seconds. There's a, there's really no, uh, no information for the, the user other than when you're looking through the, uh, the viewfinder, you'll have an LED, an orange light or a green light, uh, which basically, you know, green means you're good. Yellow means that it's going to be possibly blurry photos. So uh, maybe put it on a tripod. They did include, yes, a tripod socket. Wow. Now, a cool aspect that the Pentax Auto 110 has is variable speeds, meaning that it has a low and a high speed. Your low speed is going to rate your film at around 80 ISO, and your high speed is going to rate uh, the ISO about 320. And in the back there, you you can notice next to that, uh, that battery compartment is going to be like a little button. And inside, if you know, depending on how you modify your tab or your cartridge, you can modify the cartridge on the film to uh, either engage or disengage that from high and low speeds. I think the most obvious advantage to a system like this is, is really going to be the portability. You have the option to have three, you know, or more lenses and a body that you can pop in your pocket. And uh, they also, so this, this is the main kit here with the three primes a wide angle, a normal, and a telephoto. They also did release a, a zoom, and, and I've read that the zoom is garbage, but uh, you know, of course that could be subjective. A lot of people said it's, it's overly soft, and uh, you know, compared to these, surprisingly you're saying, hey, it, it's 110, how sharp can it be? These primes are actually, they're pretty sharp. Now, when you compare, you know, that's especially when you compare these, these lenses to like a standard 110 camera, like a, you know, a pocket Kodak or, or whatever. You know, these are like worlds apart. The lenses are actually legit. And for you creative types, you can put these lenses on and adapt these lenses to other systems. They'll, they'll work on micro four thirds. They'll also actually have full coverage on your Sony cameras, your, your Fuji cameras, uh, you know, your A6000s and, and, and whatever. Uh, you know, it does have full coverage from these tiny lenses. When they design these lenses, they basically only use the very, very center of the lens. So, now that you have that that coverage on on the larger format, you you will notice like there's character. You know there's going to be heavy vignetting. There's going to be a, a smearing and a blurring. Actually, I'll show you. So here's my XT3, and I have the adapter on there. And uh, you know Sony has one as well. I'm sure they have them for the Olympus four thirds. And uh, releasing these lenses is super simple. You just pop that. 
turn that, comes right off. While I have this off, it's worth mentioning too to, to say that the aperture system is built into the camera. So if you do adapt these lenses onto like something else, okay, you're gonna shoot at a straight 28, so they're gonna be wide open. I'll pop this guy on there. Boop boop. Now I just want to stop here and bring to attention. Have you guys ever seen the original Beetlejuice? Okay. Do you remember like remember in the end that voodoo guy with the big body and the tiny little head? Okay, he like did some magic dust on Beetlejuice and like shrunk his head down. Whoa! Whoa! Stop it! Whoa! So and you can't imagine the looks <laughs> when you're out shooting with this. You know, you, you get another photographer, dude. I don't know whether it's a dirty look or a look of like confusion, but it's a look for sure. Uh, something else too, I've, I've shot video and man, it, it looks kind of cool. It has the same character uh, that, that you get with the stills. Um, again, you know, the focusing, you have to do, you know, all be manually focusing and stuff. So, so you gotta be, um, gotta be kind of on that. But, but man, it just, it delivers some really interesting footage. Now I want to show you, this image here was shot uh, on my X-T3 with the 24 millimeter, like just how sharp this is. I'm going to zoom in here and I mean the center, you know, this is 2.8, you know, there's no aperture in these lenses at all. Like that, that is like pretty sharp in the center there. Um, it just shows you just how, how good of a picture uh, you're going to get on a 110. I know I'm kind of hyping the hell out of this camera, and I think it's for good reason though. You know, this is gonna go in, in my collection of, of do not sell cameras. So I have like the Nikon EM, the F100, the F3, the Yashica D, um, a couple box cameras. Dude, I have just a handful of cameras that I'm not gonna get rid of. I don't know, I just, I love to shoot with it. It's fun, and uh, yeah. But anyways, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys are well, and until the next one, we'll see you.